Okay, now we have our 9138 uh, Troop Special with the fixed sights. Now, as we've been demonstrating in this series, they're all a surprise. This has a more traditional carbine sight on it than the others. And I really don't know if this rear sight, I can't tell. I, you know, I don't have a guaranteed uh, one that has been unmodified. But this one's been scrubbed, another post-war rework. Uh, you know, serial number, they even took the uh, caliber off the rear sight. So, I'm going to try the last sight picture, get two rounds down there, you know, you just got to guess. As you can see where you got to try to concentrate because this can get expensive if you're paying a lot for the ammo. And that's going to be the front sight, the very bottom of the notch, and I'll put the notch kind of at the bottom of the page and see where we are, the bottom of the target. Okay, let's take a look. Well, don't get no better than that, right out the box. So, top of the rear sight was kind of like down here, level with the dot. And front sight down to where I could just see it in the bottom of the notch. Bingo. So let me settle in, run a clip, and see how we do. And then we're going to move on to the 100 yard range. Okay, like I said, we were lucky with this one. Our uh, 9148 Troop Special Carbine with the fixed sights. Using our oversized cast bullet ammunition. And right out of the box, we got the right sight picture with this one. So we're finding with each rifle, that'll, it's going to vary a little. So now we're going to run a full clip and see how we do. Okay, kept all of them on that little paper. All eight of them. So obviously, this is not a rifle I'm going to sell. I'm going to keep this one. And it does pretty good. But we're seeing that each rifle, how you use your sights in the sight picture varies. But that one there, right out of the box, we got it. All right. Okay, since we did so well at the 50 yard range, we're going to start off with our 9138 Troop Special here at the 100. I got a chunk of cardboard so it's easier to see where the hell the bullet goes 
Uh, I ain't worried about windage, uh, but elevation wise. So again, like this one, we lined it up with the bottom of the target and had it to where we could just see the front sight. And it did well for us at uh, 50. So we're going to use the same sight picture here at 100 and see what we end up with after a couple of shots here. Spotting scope. All right, unbelievably, we're right on the bulls. I have not had a Carcano shoot this well out of all of them. I mean, right off the bat, this must be my lucky gun. I really want to try it at 200 if the range don't get crowded. I'm going to try to shoot her at 200 yards. Okay, we'll go take a look. Okay, this gun kicked ass at 100 yards. Two, three, four, five, one flyer, six. So since we have numerous rifles, we'll have to make a, you know, we'll take this out one day and spend the day with it. But right now, we're gonna go on and see how a few others do. I'd like to take this out to 200, but I don't know if I'll have the chance today. <laughs> 